Right, hello YouTube. Me and my little mate Billy here, as you can see him. He's a good boy, ain't you Billy? Yes you are. Yes, he's a good boy. Sit down. Sit down. You stay there. He's a good lad. You stay there. Right, me and my little mate Billy here. Um, about six months ago, I started a new job. Um, this new job... There he goes, look, he's gone and sat up there, that's it, that's what I wanted him to do. Yeah, about six months ago, I started a new job. So, I'm not forklift driving now, I'm now working at a welder fabricators. Um, a welder's mate is what uh, Jack, my boss, says that I am, a welder's mate. So, cutting, grinding, um, little bits of welding, um, digging holes, mixing concrete for gate posts and that, you know, just, just bits and bobs. It's a nice little job, I'm, I'm enjoying it. So, that's, that's what's going on on the work scene. Um, I am now inside the looting box. Yes, I am living inside this looting box now. Um, I've done lots and lots of work to it, well, I say lots and lots of work, I've done quite a bit. Um, I'll explain that a little bit more a bit later on. Um, I'm not doing any welding um, because of the simple reason I was sat in the canteen uh, flicking through my phone looking on Facebook at the Smiley Transit page which is pretty much all, that's all I've got on Facebook. So I was looking through there and there was a Mark V smiley front that was all been welded, all been painted underneath, all been sprayed, um, just a twin wheel chassis and cab. Got full year's MOT, ready to go. And I looked at it and I thought, hmm, I wish mine was like that. And then I thought, hmm, this one's for sale. Lo and behold, it was about 10 miles up the road from where the transit was. So I was like, hmm, here we go. So um, Mike Smith, I think was the bloke's name on Facebook, on the Smiley Front um, Transit Forum thing. And um, I rung him up and I went and had a look at it and wow. <laughs> It was just so nice and clean. Everything was all done. Got the year's MOT. I could just put my box on it. And, you know. So, when I got there, he'd got the transit that was for sale. He'd got his transit, which was another truck. Um, he'd got another smiley front just panel van that his missus was driving around in and I think he'd got like three or four more of those around the back and he'd got another twin wheel truck in the garage that he was working on so he is the transit man if you're in Boston Lincolnshire um, Mike Smith I think his name was on Facebook um, yeah he's got spares um, he knows pretty, he's, he's had them for years, he's done loads with them, so he's he's a good man to know. So anyway, long and short, we agreed to part X, the chassis and cab, and um, that was the new truck I was getting. So that's what I've done, I've bought another chassis and cab, all welded, years MOT, sprayed, it looks brilliant, it's, yeah, it's brilliant. I've then... Um, Took the box off the one that I brought from Martin and Laura in Birmingham. And that box is now quickly bolted on the back of the new chassis and cab. Um, I've done that mainly, not. I haven't done it because I can't weld it. And I haven't done it because I don't want to weld the transit. I've done it because of time. Um, it's now getting on towards the end of September we're going to be altering the clock soon um, it's winter time yeah I need to be concentrating on 
getting this box sorted out. So the box itself, what I've actually done, um, see if I can give you a bit of a pan around. Um, if I, oh, hang on a minute. If I do that, you can see the roof. Now the roof, it's uh, it's all tongue and groove panelled in between the ribs. There's little mate Billy up there. So what I had, what I did, I basically removed all of the tongue and groove panelling from the roof because the fiberglass roof had come unstuck from the metal ribs. So I stuck the fiberglass back down to the metal ribs and that's all stuck down nice. And I've then put most of all of the ceiling panels back in. This one up there that you can see, coincidentally, I haven't done because one of the problems with this box was this floor under here, which is on top of the cab, was rotten. All of the tongue and groove around the bed was rotten because he had got he, the mattress was basically sat directly on this wood. It was wedged in all the corners there, and it got damp, and it was all just rotten. So I took all of the cladding down from in the top of that cab bit. Um, there was a little square door in the front. I basically took that off, aluminium sheet, pot riveted and seam sealed to the panel. Um, new piece of board on the back of it. Um, and then rebattened it, insulated it and put tongue and groove back on. All of the tongue and groove that I put back on is different to what was up there. And it has come from everything else in here that had tongue and groove on it i.e. the shower room um, this was originally in it but this had um, tongue and groove cladding on it and was a bit taller the top of it that I cut off is here um, so yeah that was got that recladded insulated and whatever um, run out of because there was some polystyrene in it I've ditched that got rid of that and I've got some um, plastic bottle insulation from B&Q brilliant stuff um, I love it brilliant stuff I've basically got that in the rest of the roof um, and I've got some to finish that off so that's all good so I did those two little things I then brought this bed frame, which is just a standard, well, it's it's an IKEA single bed. Um, it's got all the lats and everything. It was all there and complete. Again, it was on one of the Facebook selling sites. Um, Twenty pound. Um, so I said, yeah, I'll have it. When I actually got there, they got some of the bolts that were missing, but they got some other bolts which weren't really quite right. And I says, oh, it doesn't matter, I'm not worried about that. I give them the 20 quid for it, took it away, and basically got it back here and screwed it together. Um, no problem. So there's the bed. Brand new mattress. Um, cost me about 80 quid from a bloke who comes round um, selling various different things out the back of his van, if you know what I mean. But brand new mattress, 80 quid. Um, that's up there. I've basically cut that bed frame down by 50 millimeters so as it fits up the top there. So it's 50 millimeters shorter, but the mattress still fits in it. Perfect air gap all the way round. Um, I chopped probably four or five inches off the bottom of the legs, so that sits up there, and I've got the air gap under there. Perfect. Um, yeah, the rest of in here. Um, I've basically took absolutely everything out of it. I mean absolutely everything. This was out of it, everything. I've then battened the floor, insulated with 
um, 25mm king span and ply board over the top. So I've basically got a brand new floor everywhere. Um, the back wall. I've now got a back wall. If I spin, this, this obviously is the bed above the cab with the cab in there. This next week or two I'm going to be cutting through that cab. Um, a lot of people have told me I shouldn't do it. I'll bugger the truck up, blah blah blah. I'm cutting a hole through that cab. Right, let me just have a spin around and show you um, the back. So, round here at the back, basically, we've got, this is just a sheet of insulation that I've got to put in here. Before I move this out of the way, like that, you can now see what I have. This is the roller shutter, rattles all night long. Um, I've basically built a framework, um, clad it on the outside with shiplap, shiplap, whatever, lap, lap, whatever you call it, lath, I don't know, shiplap, whatever it is, a um, lot you'd put on a shed um, on those two walls. I've then boxed around the roller shutter, so it's all just boxed off. I'm going to insulate in here, all in this bottom, um, and then panel over it again. So that's coming along. That's what I'm going to hopefully get done tonight, get some more of this insulation finished. I've got, for this gap here, um, I've got this. Which actually goes from that way up. That is, that was a complete door. Um, full size, whatever. I've cut that down like that so that now fits in my frame. Oops, still. That now fits in my frame. Needs a little bit of adjusting. And I've got some hinges coming for it. And obviously, I've got the bottom as well. So I'll show you I'll show you all this a bit more. It's been raining, windy and horrible just lately, so can't really get in and out very well. Can't do anything outside much because it's horrible. So yeah, I've got a couple more panels to replace here. I think Billy thought there was a mouse in here or something, so I had to pull a panel off and there was nothing in there. So shove a bit more insulation in there, a couple of bits back on. There was a couple of bits up there I broke, I got to replace those. But yeah, we're we're getting on rather well. I will in the next video show you the chassis and the cab and the outside of the box and whatever. Um, but like I say, it's bad weather so I can't be doing any of that right now. Kitchen unit. The fridge is running off the mains electric. Not a problem. Works like a treat. I've got the uh, oven the grill and the gas rings all hooked up to a gas bottle just in there for now so I've got all my cooking facilities and um, the sink I haven't really got I've got no water or drain or anything wired up for it so I've also got to I've got to get it taken out but there's a cassette toilet um, which is going to be going in here with the door out that side so I'll have my cassette toilet there and a 700 by 700 shower tray in front of it um, which is going to be my kind of bathroom so I've got lots and lots to do in here I've not got my leisure batteries yet it's sorted out in here I've got to cut through the cab I've got to get some steps made for the back because there's no steps on it um, my lockers down the side underneath the box got to get those made um, I made a list the other day there's loads to do but um, that's about it for this video I'll uh, when the weather cheers up a bit I'll get some better photos of it and uh, give you a better look at what I'm doing but for now I'm going to um, get this piece of insulation cut and get it in this wall down here so we'll uh, see how we get on right okay so now we have it insulated. 
Um, 50 mil king span in there. I've got to put some 5 mil ply board spacings in here, uh, on here, sorry, to uh, make this up to 50 mil like the insulation because the wood is only 46 millimeters. So that's uh, that's the next thing. Then I've got some ply board to put on here, so that'll all be uh, ply board lined. Um, yeah. So until my hinges arrive at the weekend. Um, then I can put my door on. So, yes, we're doing very well indeed. Uh, I've used my new camera today. I uh, don't know what the sound was like and the picture quality. Um, anybody got any questions, comments or anything like that, put them in the section below, uh, somewhere down there, and I will uh, get back to you. I've got uh, some more videos in the pipeline, so we'll see how we go. Until the next video, bye bye for now.